my hair look good. It's wonderful. Awesome. Folks, I want to take a quick moment to make a, a video on how to modify your box back if you want it to be shifted back a bit further than the standard holds. And here's what I mean. Sometimes I get feedback that the box back makes folks feel like they're being pushed off the seat. Well, let me show you. These are the holes that you normally would use. You want the furthest ones uh, forward, shifting the box. You would use this one and this one. Here's a way to get it back another inch. It's quite easy to do. I have my multi-drill bit tool, but obviously you want a drill bit that is the same size of this. So I'll go back to about the fifth level on this, but a drill bit the size of the screw that you're going to use. Now, if you can get in here, this is where the normal hole goes, okay? And this one. So we wanna make it forward of it, moving the seat back. Now, you wanna make sure, you obviously can't drill through this, but it's okay if you go one way or the other because the bracket that you're using is on the inside, it has a slide, so you have some play. Now a little hint, you wanna make your ancillary holes on the inside, and I'll show you why, you'll understand in a moment, because when the bracket goes here, you can't get the nut on. Now, keep in mind, this will be on the inside, so you don't wanna go so far forward in the corner where this won't be able to be on the inside because of the bend in the seat. I'll explain, it will make sense in a moment. So what I do, is I make a hole. Better if I go in forward. The drill works more better. There we go. Oh, I'm doing a fantastic job trying to make a video here. There we go. Right there. And then on the inside of this little ridge, pretty much in the same place on the other one. Okay, and again, you want your hole to be big enough for, because the screw is gonna pass through there like so. I've done this a few times, so I, I know exactly where to go. Now, for the back hole, little hint, this is the one you were using. Well, you wanna move it basically an inch forward, which would put it right there in this corner. Okay, again, on the inside of this ridge. That's an annoying noise. Let's not put it on hammer drill. There we go. Okay. So, there are my new holes. Instead of these two holes, we're gonna use these. Now, we take the bracket. Now you understand why I went on the inside of this ridge. Keep in mind the little square part that looks kind of like a hashtag, it needs to be forward because this goes on the seat, okay? So what I do then, I lay that down, I take my screws, by the way, look down here, these are the parts that come with it, I don't use these, what I do with those I'll show you in a minute at the end of the video, but I go ahead and I put my screws in like this. There's no magic to this. There's three different ways to probably go about this, but this is how I do it. Okay, then I kind of hold that with my hands so they don't fall back out. And if you'll notice, they pretty much line up with where they need to be. Okay, they line up, just kind of finagle. If you don't want to do all four at once, I think I'm going to skip that plan for a moment. Now, there we go, whoops. Now you understand why I went on the inside of this ridge. If I went on the outside, this pole would be blocking it. I put my washer. I apologize for the background noise. I'm doing this at a slow moment in the show. Then I go ahead and I get that going. I don't tighten it down yet because what I want to make sure 
is that my other screws align. We'll do them one at a time. There we go. I hold that with my finger. I get a nut and a washer. And I get her going. That's good. Now I go ahead and get the other bracket, the one that fell out on me earlier. I go ahead and put it through the new holes that I made. Like so. I hold my screws so that they don't fall through again. Let's do one at a time this time. This is raw and unedited. There we go. The hard part's done. I go ahead now and finger tighten these down as they're all in position as best as I can. Okay. I just use this, or you could use any kind of a wrench. The, uh, that nut is, I believe, a 10 millimeter. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And I just hold the screw, either with a screwdriver or my finger. And I go ahead and tighten them down. Now, the rest of it works the same way as the high back. You would take the screws out of the seat, put the, uh, put basically you put the seat post through this, and then you put the screws back through this and the seat post, just like on the high back. What we've accomplished is by doing this, we actually shifted this back about an inch, which makes it a lot more comfortable for people. Now, keep in mind, as you were taught, this is a backrest, it's not a recliner, okay? We just shifted the weight back a little bit. Always be mindful, these bikes are perfectly balanced about weight distribution. When you're going up an incline or you're going over grass, you just wanna shift your weight forward until the tires stop spinning, you get traction. A lot like driving a car or a, uh, or a truck or anything in the mud or snow. So just be mindful, this will be more comfortable when you're flat, relax, you can sit back, but you don't want to be leaning back on this or the high back. It's not what it's for. It's a back support. Now, I want to end the video with this. Oh, what did I do with these? A lot of times, I'll use these for... They work quite nicely and looks quite neat to put my basket on. Little hint, folks. Okay? One final thing I want to reiterate to you and remind you of. When you get our bikes, always, always order a rear tire assembly. They're on our website. They're less than $70, as I recall. Get the whole tire tube and rim. For $70, it's just not worth fooling with. You may order a spare tube as well, and here's why. Murphy's Law states that you're enjoying our scooters. That's what they're designed for. You'll be at Disney World or a park having a good time, and Murphy's Law dictates that on a Sunday, you will get a flat. And instead of ruining your day, trying to fix a tube or look for a tube or patch a tube, you simply take the spare tire that you bought from us, the whole assembly, take these two screws out that hold this beauty cap on and there's just a simple nut. You put your spare on there just like a car and then worry about your tube or tire replacement at your leisure. I hope this helps. Enjoy, folks.